welcome to The Graceful Skinny. And today I am talking about something special with Valentine's Day, a, a blink away. I thought it would be appropriate to show you what we're doing for our Valentine's this year. This year is going to be like all other years. It's a family tradition of ours to make our Valentine's. And I am just overjoyed that my daughter is at a point where we are really embracing the opportunity to pass this tradition on to her. Um, some of these stickers that she are using are left over from Valentine kits from when my mom did this with me as a little girl. Um, I kind of cracked up laughing when I found these. Um, just seeing them made me realize, quit spreading the glitter in your hair. <laughs> Kids and glitter, right? This is the kind of mess you invite yourself upon yourself when you do this, but happy memories are worth it. And, you know, I, I remember buying these stickers with my mom and it kind of cracked me up to find them. And there's others in here too that are just so like dated in their styles, but so great at the same time. Um, and it's such an easy project. I, it's messy. And as you can see, it kind of takes over your kitchen for about a week um, or wherever your craft space is. In my case, it's my kitchen. So please it, forgive me for the mess behind me because this is a house that's lived in, so I'm not hiding it from you. So enjoy the mess. Yay! Um, the way we do this, I'm telling you, any kid old enough to hold a paintbrush can do this. Um, we start with a full sheet of stiff paper, or specifically, we like to use watercolor paper. Hey, do, you, do, do your stickers and your glue. Quit making a mess with the glitter. So we start with a full sheet of paper. <laughs> and we we just I just have her cover it completely from end to end top to bottom and just with not maybe designs or the goal is to not is to not have any white space left over when you're done and what you do from there is you cut out hearts if the child is really little you could do it for them um, we have in the past years when she before she could really use scissors used a heart hole punch that she could punch into the paper and that would make the heart for her. This year, because her scissor skills are have developed some more, um, I traced them for her and had her cut them out herself. Um, one of the things we did is we added um, stickers on the back that had her name on it. So she limited the amount of writing that she had to do for her friends because we do have about 20 that we have to make for our Valentine party for our homeschool gathering. Um, Yes, that sticker's not going to stick now because you put so much glitter on the back of it. Um, and so it, it really is something that is special. It teaches the love of having a, an appreciation for giving something that is handcrafted. And it really helps to understand how like people value something that is hand take that somebody took the time to handcraft, especially for that person. And you're making something, thinking of that person the whole time you're making it. And it's just so much better than just running out to Target and grabbing a box off the shelf. No judgment for those that do do that, but this is just our family tradition and it's something that creates wonderful memories, lasting memories in my case. And I <coughs> just wanted to share that with you. Um, I hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Uh, if you have, haven't made your Valentine's yet, I suggest there's still some time, get out some paper and some glue and they might not be as fancy as these, but handcrafted is always the best. And for that, from our house to yours, happy Valentine's Day and have a, have a great week. Take care, everybody. Bye. Bye too.